Now, men, just, uh, I just want to say a few words again about this subject of merchandise. Now, as you know, every outfitter carries a uh, stock of shirts. And I think you should have some knowledge uh, of the materials of which shirts are made. Of course, the, uh, the most usual material is cotton. Now, a few weeks ago, and as a matter of fact, uh, merely a few days ago, I was talking about cotton shirts made, made in various weaves. Now, the most popular shirting is that known as poplin. Uh, you have a piece of material with you. You might have a look at it and uh, we'll uh, talk about it. Thank you. Uh, I mean, the, uh, one of the most popular materials used for shirts is the cotton poplin. You have a piece of that material there. It's just an average sample of uh, a fairly good grade poplin. I wanted to look at it uh, and notice certain characteristics. What would you say was one of the most uh, obvious characteristics of that material? Uh, very smooth. It's very smooth, yes, it's quite smooth. What is that smoothness due to, do you think? Well, it has been mercerized, yes. What does the mercerizing effect produce? What uh, result does it give? Luster. Yes, it gives a luster. Right. Uh, now, the uh, poplin there has a certain obvious characteristics. Uh, tell me, Mr. Lennon, one of the characteristics. It's uh, very smooth and light. Uh, yes, it's very smooth and also bright. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. Uh, well, what is that brightness due to? That silky appearance that it's got? Most bright. Yeah. Now that poplin you have there, it's one of the most popular materials for shirts. You'll notice it's rather bright. Uh, what is that uh, bright appearance due to? <laughs> yes, to much and That's correct. Yes. Uh, what other characteristic do you think? No, men, that uh, sample of that uh, poplin you have there, you might examine it and look at the certain, uh, certain characteristics which every poplin possesses. Uh, one of those characteristics you'll see is uh, brightness. It's fairly lustrous. Uh, what is that luster due to? For some time, the Football Association and the Football League have been concerned with the fact that many professional footballers have no secure means of livelihood when once their playing career is over. Now, this training course, which was made possible by the cooperation of the LCC and the College of Distributive Trades, is part of a nationwide scheme to train footballers to trades which they can take up when their playing days uh, are over. College is doing all that can be done to ensure the success of this scheme. These classes are the first of their kind to be organized to give vocational training to professional footballers. The men are getting instruction from experts in the kind of goods they wish to retail and they're being taught how to display their goods so as to attract custom. In our model shops, the men are learning salesmanship and business management. We hope that at the end of this course, by the training they will have received, 
the men will be able to make not only a living, but a good living. We hope that at the end of these courses, the training the men will have received will enable them to make not only a living, but a good living.